I now have a routine. In the first few weeks in the hospital, you know, I couldn't sleep. 24 hours of noises in the gastroenteritis ward. People dying next to me, in front of me, next room, bedroom. 24 hours of people moaning. So I couldn't sleep. And my biorhythm is kind of like got wrong. Um, uh, every day in the morning around 12, 1, 2, I would wake up hungry. And sometimes my family forgot to bring me biscuit and bread. And I would sit there and like hungry. Nothing to eat. Then later on, I figured out when I was discharged back to to stay in the house, my body rhythm started to do the same thing. At 2.30 in the morning, I would wake up to eat, <laughs> which has been happening. I couldn't sleep. And now I'm beginning to uh, get back my sleep. I don't wake up at 2.30 anymore to, to, uh, to eat. But at 6 o'clock in the morning, my biorhythm get back. I will wake up and eat my breakfast and take my pills. I need a routine because otherwise I can't remember things. So every morning I love, I'm beginning to love this Japanese breakfast of low sodium and high protein diet I'm being put in, right? Which is hard boiled. No, soft boiled. So every day at 6 o'clock, I wake up and I put like two big soft boiled eggs or three small soft boiled eggs in one of those soft boiled egg containers. And then I would eat it with pepper, <laughs> with no salt. <laughs> and I love it. I'm going to eat this afterwards with the pepper, no salt, and with soy rich milk, and I slay uh, with the conflict. And I always have, see this is psyllium, you know, psyllium husk. Mm -hmm. Every day I put some psyllium husk, and then I put water and I drink it. Why? Because the strategy to get rid of water in my tummy is three prong. One, I'm taking pills to urinate, one, they're giving me things to, you know, shit, so that the water doesn't retrain beside the pills. I've been drinking coffee for what, 30 years? And now it's like because of the hospital, totally wean off coffee <laughs> every day. You know, they say coffee withdrawal syndrome can make you tired. So most of the time I forgot to, that I should have my morning coffee. But over the day, I would get tired, so I'm beginning to drink Brand's chicken essence with ginseng so that I don't brrrr fall asleep. So after I take the pill, I usually like somewhere two hours later, I'll take a Brand's chicken essence. <laughs> and I also figure out something else. You see this high protein drink that the hospital gave to me? Because when I was there, I couldn't eat oh. hospital food for five months. Boy veggie, chunk of chicken just measured for me for the amount of protein I need. Cooked in like, ah, blah, blah, blah. no taste. I lost my appetite. So all of us patients who lose, lost their appetite have to drink this ensure drink and although you say vanilla flavor is like so you know what i figured out i figured out a new recipe you pour this thing you put your ipo white coffee thing there and then you put some ice you ice blended it ho ho I blended cappuccino in the hospital. 
and it would taste good. I told other patients, I said, just ice blend it like your cappuccino. Woo! That is a new recipe, so don't forget. Advice from Chong Xiao Ching for the day. Now, the other problem I have, you see, is the number of pills. There were a time I had like 22 pills, 26 pills. I couldn't eat at all. I couldn't swallow. So, I, I have been given this thing. And every day, I will have to grind it. You know, grind it. And then after that, it's like powder and then it's bitter. And then I blah, 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 drink it. And then it's so bitter. And then I take this with my cappuccino ice blender and go. That's how I eat my <laughs> pills daily. After I eat my breakfast, I will start putting my pills together. Now, at the beginning, I got all lost. When I put my pills together, I was talking. So sometimes I forgot which pills that I take it out. There was one time I had 22 pills, most of them antibiotic. Ooh. So now, as of today, this is what I have to take every day. See, I put it like that. Now in the morning, I will wake up. I have to take this antibiotic, the last of my antibiotic pill before food. So I wake up at 6, pop one in, and then I'll take half an hour to prepare my breakfast, put things together. And then at 6.30, I would have all the pills here. Then I'll eat my breakfast at about 6.45, 6.45, I will have all the pills here and I will drink it. So I took this early in the morning at 6 o'clock every day. Then I put it here. And then I take the next one, water retention pill, Ampil Ampat 4. Then I put it like that. See, for someone who's not used to pills, at the beginning, this is a challenge. I uh, take, more, take more than I need to, like put the stock, stock of pill in the wrong thing, you know. And I also take my multivitamin. You have to take this called flatulence. Afterwards, which is like make me do shit. <laughs> and I have to take furosemide water tablet to pass water. Do a two. So I have to take it out. Put two. See, at the beginning when I was talking, when I was doing this, I forgot which pill I took, and then after that, I have to relook like, wow, how does it look like? got it all wrong but now I know that when you take pill if you are very organized you don't get it wrong and then water retention okay this is a stop at the beginning I did wrongly you see I put I took the stop the one you know pill in the stock together with the pill that I'm supposed to take because I took too much so now I am very smart I write stop Please don't take it out, you run out only, you put it inside your bag. Then I have to take this steroid, Bradycilone. Remember, at the beginning, 8, and then after that, 2, and then after that, 6, then after that, 4, and then today, you see the instruction for me? June 14 to June 17, I took, I begin to take four after the eight and then june 18 to june 24 i have to take oh four this is six and then today is the beginning i have to take two books two two two, two. steroid remember at the beginning when i take eight steroid i was like the rabbit they run very fast now i'm slower now it's the beginning i take two because they got to see if these pills are helping me to suppress the autoimmune problem on the liver and now they think there's something to do with my heart i was due for a heart surgery last week and didn't get to go because they never car 
weekend, I was I am supposed to see the neuro team this week, but I got to uh, present a proposal tomorrow with Ronan, so I wouldn't get to go there. My doctor has been on SMS with me, and he's like, "Hmm, you gotta take care of your health." But as the ED of Yo Maker, so many things are going on. It's either I got in the hospital for three days for surgery, drain my stuff, or get some of this presentation going on and get the team moving. So I have to choose to get the team moving. But now everything is very fine. I have Salmon, I have two Korean interns, I have Ravin all coming in, and um, things is great. So this is my life every morning.